So I'm exhausted and um, my back hurts. I heard it earlier picking up my baby Autumn who's I think she's about 22 pounds anyway um, I just got finished with my first week of my CD release and I had a flurry of sales which was awesome but now I had to put them all in envelopes and sign them and you know make sure they get out into the mail so I've been working on this for two days I would say and um, my kitchen is a mess like my house is a mess yeah. And the issue is that I have a blue apron subscription now. <laughs> so I have some food I need to cook up. I have some blue apron meals to cook. And if I don't cook them up now, I'm busy the next tomorrow I have a show. So I don't think I'm going to get to it then. So if I don't cook them up now, they're going to go bad. And that's the problem with having a subscription. Is the food keeps coming because I didn't stop it early enough. My life's a little chaotic. It's okay. I'm just going to bust through and cook up these meals real quick all at once. And I'm not really a good cook, so this should be fun. Need a little encouragement. Mmm, that's so good. I love um, Sauvignon Blanc, especially in the summertime. Uh, who am I kidding? I love it all year round. You could actually get this at winetasting.com, which um, I do marketing for them, so there's my disclaimer. I get a lot of really good wine, though. <laughs> Ooh, fun facts about coconut. Yeah, I love me some coconut. That's awesome. Now, which recipe should I tackle first? Hmm. I'm going catfish. Ooh, yeah. So I love Blue Apron because it's um, sort of like taking a cooking class, but I don't have to leave my own house. It's got some great verbiage here on Indian cooking and the spices and whatnot and then it shows you the direction or the um, ingredients and all these great little pictures so you can dig around and see what you need to pull out of your refrigerator to get ready for cooking. Prep time 15 minutes. Cook time 25 to 35 minutes. That's 45 minutes so it should probably take me an hour because <laughs> I'm pretty slow. Here's my catfish I just pulled out of my refrigerator. I'm going to prep it. Let's see. Together here, I like to keep my recipe on my stove so that I can just read it really easily. So this is like an air sealed container. Um, let's see, I, can, I mean it's sealed so good that I can't even open it pretty much. But uh, let's see if I can. This would help if I had from using both hands. This little film comes right up, and um, everything I've gotten so far has been really fresh. And I'm gonna have to put, I'm gonna have to use both hands to get this done. But I just want you to see how it looks. So I'm basically, I'm basically just getting all my other ingredients together, and I like to keep everything in a, a bowl in my fridge. Um, that way, it's just easier for me to uh, make it compact. So each meal has different items it comes with and um, I don't separate them out by meal although that would probably make my life a lot easier. So I'm just going to start fishing around. I think I need this rice. White balsamic rice. That's what I'm looking for right there. And then four ounces of green beans. So I just have those right here. Pull those out. Um, three garlic cloves. I have a garlic clove right here. And then a lime and a bunch of cilantro and mint. So, lime, cilantro, and mint. Perfect. 
I'll just put the rest back in my fridge because I don't need them right now. But um, I will say that I was concerned at first about the recycling of all these products, um, these containers that these products come in, these, the, these food items. But on their website, they show how to specifically recycle each item. So if you go there, you can uh, see what you need to do to make sure you recycle them correctly. And if you don't have any recycling at your community for some reason, then they'll actually accept the box back full of all the stuff. So it'll recycle it for you. So that's kind of cool. So I would recommend cleaning your kitchen before you start these recipes as you have to pull stuff out of uh, the box and then you just, you know, like there's crap everywhere as you can see. So um, I definitely, for example, don't need my easy egg cracker that I used for breakfast, but I love this thing. It's amazing. Um, and I definitely don't need like these bagels sitting here. Like I don't need those in my life right now. So I'm just going to put those over there. Um, yeah, I mean, just like random, what is this crap? I mean, come on. So like I said, I've been really busy and not only just for the past few days, but for the past few weeks with my CD release. So pardon my mess. Anyway, so I probably got a little too carried away with opening the fish. It's just kind of sitting there now. Yeah, so right now I have to prepare my ingredients first. So I don't even have to do anything with the fish until way later. Yeah, so I actually might probably want to just put it back in the fridge. Only because um, I know that I am slow. So it'll take me a long time to get to the point where I actually need it. I don't want it to go bad or get warm or whatever. So to prepare the ingredients, you have to wash and dry all the produce and then... It gives you like step-by-step -step instructions on what to do for each item. So I'm not going to, I'm going to spare you from having to watch me chop everything because, well, number one, it, I don't do it right. So I have to figure out which knife I'm using. Like I'll start with this one. Okay. Cause it's, you know, big and, um, I'm using, a uh, it on these green beans, which is probably like totally wrong. So. Um, if, if one of you foodies want to tell me the actual knife I'm supposed to be using, that's awesome. Just, you know, comment it below or whatever. Um, that'll probably make my life a lot easier for next time. Okay. Okay. So I, um, had to put my reading glasses on because not that this print is very small. It's just, I've been staring at my computer for like, well, every single day of my life usually. <laughs> so my eyes are kind of, you know, needing glasses sometimes. Um, so, yeah, that's as far as I got. I went and found my glasses and I st I'm only still on these freaking green beans. So I need to kick it in gear, man. I need to just start, stop messing around and just bust this out. Okay. Assuming, you know, a little bit, um, garlic comes like this. And then when it says to peel and mince it, you just, uh, you first of all, look and, and make sure you remember how many cloves. So this is one, two, three cloves. There's a lot left over. Don't make the mistake I made and actually use everything they give you um, of an item because that could go really, really wrong. So they sometimes give you extra more than you need, FYI. So that's peeled, that's unpeeled. Seriously, this is hard work. I'm breaking a sweat. It's fun though. I like it. It's therapeutic. So I'm not a big cooker. Like I said, um, mostly I do takeout where I cook very, very simply. So following these recipes is actually, um, meditative in a way because I'm using real ingredients and, um, smelling all the smells and I'm putting a lot of work in. So when I actually taste the final product, it seems like, um, more of an accomplishment, you know, because I had so much invested in it and I eat slower and I enjoy it more. Um, yeah. So I'm still chopping these freaking ingredients, the pre preparation. So it takes me a long time. Just FYI. So I got to a point where I was missing stuff off my list and I'm going to see if they're in this bag Blue Apron provides called knickknacks for each recipe. 
cool. So uh, looks like everything's in here. The ginger was what I was looking for. I just peeled the ginger and it smells so amazing. So I got to use my peeler for that, which I never get to use hardly ever. So that's neat. Now these look good. This is the cilantro and mint, and I trust I trust that they're good. But I always just rinse stuff just to be uh, safe. Um, you know, pesticides and all. And it's a little tedious because I have to then pick all of the leaves, uh, destem them. So it's just um, it's a little hands on, but <clears throat> that's kind of what I like about it. It's uh, something different. And I do a lot of work on the computer, and I just sit there working in a virtual realm, um, typing away and clicking away, and I actually get to touch some something here, so <laughs> like and smell things and use my other senses. So I, I think I like that. It's um, very sensual, um, and of course um, the flavors are so amazing afterwards. It's totally worth it. So it's still plugging away at these ingredients, but I just want to say it's worth taking the time to get different, um, keep them separate and get different containers for each because don't do like I did. I actually put them all in one place and then it was hard to separate them out when it came time to using them in different ways. Um, they say add half now, add half later, mix these things together. I mean, it's just easier to have them separated. And also cleaning as you go makes things a lot easier too because then you're not totally um, left with a bunch of crap. This is my daughter, Autumn. Hi, Autumn. She's on the magnet, on the fridge. And this is my band. And this is my uh, my fridge full of our escapades. Trevor Lyon, he's a local musician. Just showing off here. Oh, baby, welcome. Welcome. We missed the sea because we use that seed to say that the dishes are clean in the dishwasher. So when they're dirty, we put the seed back. But right now, they're clean. We gotta unload it. Another thing to do. Uh, this is my mom. My mom and I. Um, it's a bad picture because it's been there so long. But she's also a musician. And then we went to Europe, so we have lots of different things from Europe. There's London. I kind of collected a bunch of them. Um, Rome. So like yeah. I like collecting those type of things but they have broken a lot by falling off the refrigerator so that always sucks because you know I can't really get them back but anyway moving on cool so I think this kind of works then I can uh, sort of dig in there so I'm roughly chopping the raisins it says and um, these are golden raisins which they look really pretty I'm still gonna use this same knife this knife that I'm comfortable using and um, it's, you know, it's just easy for me to to cut things. It's very sturdy. Like I said, I'm not sure what this knife is called or what the best knife is to use. So, you know, I don't know much about cooking. I know I like to eat. There's, I got that going for me. Um, other than that, I pretty much just wing it, which is what attracted me about this service in the first place because I don't like going grocery shopping. I like going grocery shopping, but not with the list in mind. So if I'm in a grocery store, and I'll just start throwing stuff in my cart because it looks good. Um, yeah, that's not really a good thing to do. First of all, it's costly. Okay, I am done prepping, and it looks like it took me about 40 minutes? Is that right? Oh my god. Well, the prep time on this is actually not that long, so... Um, prep time is 15 minutes. Sorry, it's blurry, but like I said, I get distracted and uh, I'm slow, but other than that, I think I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna fast forward to the next bit. So another thing I like is it tells you exactly how much olive oil to use in um, the recipes and for me, that's big because I never really measure. I just dump a bunch in. So I think this is actually going to keep my calories down for my meals as well. Oh my God, so good. That's what it says. Season with salt and pepper. And you'll notice that a lot of the recipes say that. And you season it throughout the recipe with salt and pepper. Um, 
into many different stages and then at the end as well. But it comes out really flavorful. And I think if you do it a little at a time like that, you don't overdo it. I have this nifty uh, salt and pepper grinder. Now the pepper grinder stopped working, like never worked. This is a Christmas gift. My family every year does a, a white elephant where we give um, exchange gifts and that was my white elephant gift but for some reason the pepper never worked so that's fine. I ended up just using it as a salt shaker, salt grinder and then I also just bought some of this ground pepper from Costco. Comes in handy. Use it all the time. So I added the rice, a big pinch of salt, and some water, and I'm just heating it to, uh, waiting for it to boil. It's on high. Um, now once it boils, I'm going to cover it and reduce the heat to low, cook it for about 12 to 14 minutes, <clears throat> and then, or until rice is tender, removed from heat, and then I'll add the coconut flakes and half of the cilantro and mint that we uh, chopped earlier. Season with salt and pepper once again. An excellent time for a refill. I'm doing great. This is so fun. Now I'm gonna make chutney. Now this is something I would never in a million years do, so that's why I like Blue Apron because they send me all kinds of great ideas and they send me all the tools I need to do it and <laughs> instruction. Um, so I'm just waiting for these guys to, you know, dance around or something like little jumping seeds. No, Jack and the Beanstalk. No. Um, so apparently if you're supposed to have a nonstick pan, this is not a nonstick pan, but it will do on medium high until hot. Um, then you add the chutney spice blend, which is what I just poured in there. Look like little seeds and then cook. Stirring it occasionally, uh, I'm not going to really give you all the details because this is pretty much Blue Apron's intellectual material, um, <laughs> but let's just say I like the fact that I'm doing stuff I don't normally do. I'm still waiting for it to get fragrant. I don't smell anything yet. It is on, but it's supposed to get fragrant, so I'm just waiting two to four minutes. I'll cut it off at the four minute mark, but... I don't want it to burn. Mm -hmm, these are interesting little seeds for sure. So the seeds started popping off my pan. I decided it was time to throw in the remaining ginger and the raisins. That looks really cool. Oh, it smells really good now. And then season with salt and pepper. Real quick. Only done a minute. Okay, I gotta get my next step together. Okay, I just caught my rice just as right before it was gonna start to burn on the bottom, so that's what I mean is it's tricky to coordinate all this stuff, so experienced cooks can handle it, no problem. Uh, me, I'm still learning, so I'm glad I caught it though. I'm gonna turn it down. And then uh, all I gotta do is stir in the coconut flakes, half cilantro and mint, and then salt and pepper. So I'm finding that a lot of the um, skills I'm learning on one recipe is carrying over into another recipe, so that's cool. It is getting easier, and I imagine I will be getting faster at this <laughs> as time moves on. Um, now I'm balancing a newborn, and I'm working part-time, and I'm also a singer-songwriter. And I have a lot going on, so I don't have time to go to the grocery store and try new recipes, um, figuring out what I need to buy and walking down each aisle because, you know, wandering aimlessly through the supermarket. I'm the type of person that, yeah, I've, I've, I'm such an impulse buyer, so I shouldn't even be in the grocery store, like, unless I'm there for a certain reason. <laughs> um... Let's see, coconut flakes and half cilantro. I already did that, so coconut flakes. Coconut flakes, ooh. Yeah, it would be nice if we uh, roasted these coconut flakes. That would be really good. 
toasted and roasted them. That's okay. It doesn't call for that. So I'm just going to stir them in. Sure, I could toast them and roast them if I had that kind of ambition. That would be nice. Looks good. That's fat. <laughs> Why'd you shut the door? I did not shut the door. I'm trying to like not get lost here. How are you shutting everything? Cooked. Stirring frequently. Oh, I already added the water. Uh, stirring occasionally. Two to four minutes. This is the part she's going to edit out. I'm going to totally this edit this out. This is the part that's going to totally be edited <laughs> out because she doesn't know what she's doing. No, but that's okay because everybody knows I don't know what I'm doing. That's like the whole point. I'm learning. That's how you're show I'm that's learning. Yes, this program is actually effective. That's what I'm trying to convey. I think Blue Apron has saved our marriage. Because I don't cook. And you know, everyone likes to smell food cooking in the kitchen. It's It goes back to, like, it's our pri uh, primal, you know, desires to smell good food cooking. And if nobody's cooking this good food in the house, what do we end up doing? We end up going to fast food, spending a ton of money, probably the same amount of money that we're spending on this, actually more, and getting less quality, so, uh, and feeling like really unhealthy, and I don't know. It just takes time to prepare, but I'm okay with that because it's worth it, you know? If we were to buy this stuff at a restaurant and sit down and eat these same meals, they would charge us five times the amount, so... This is a steal. I, I'm actually really happy with it. I like it personally. Now I have two more meals to prepare tonight because I waited so long. Um, I guess I could have froze them and came back to them. That would have been nice. And I, don't, I probably don't even have to do them both all tonight. So we'll see. I'll just do this one and see how I feel. Okay, I'm super hot and sweaty and I just had to get rid of some apps on my iPhone because I cheaped out and got the like smaller storage capacities I'm, I'm running out of room left and right and it's driving me bonkers so I had to delete some apps just so I could finish this um, but I will add them later when I figure out how to remove my photos and photos and videos and all that stuff anyway so back to the recipe I just finished the chutney I am now cleaning the pan out and getting away making room for the next um, item on the list it's time to make the catfish so I have this curry catfish spice blend from Blue Apron, and it sounds yummy. Okay, I sort of uh, put that blend all on this plate here, and um, I'm looking at the recipe again. And it says, <clears throat> him, place curry catfish uh, a while the rice continues to cook. Okay, I just want to say... That if it doesn't follow exactly how it is on the recipe or on the instructions, and okay, my rice is already done, okay, because I don't do things exactly right, don't worry about it, don't even sweat it, okay, because it's still going to taste delicious, and I've done a few of these recipes already, and I've made several mistakes, and in the end, they all tasted good, so don't worry about it, just relax, we're almost there. So Blue Apron gives you the option to have... Uh, all vegetarian or meat and we chose meat um, we have chicken and steak and shellfish and lamb and a array of different uh, types and each of them always says um, to pat the meat dry which I don't know why to, that is one of the things to do but with a paper towel and I don't have paper towels so that's one thing that I need to get I guess or just you know I usually rinse my meat off and then just throw it on the, the grill because I like to rinse everything off before I cook it. I'm not sure what's been on it in today's world. You just never know. But um, I think that all of Blue Apron's uh, stuff so far has been very fresh. I've never seen anything that has not been fresh or suspect in any way. 
because I don't pat mine dry, I imagine it, um, uh, that made it a little trickier getting this on there. It kind of clumped up, you see, because uh, of the excess moisture. But um, anyway, these are good to go. I'm going to put them in the frying pan. Calls for a thin layer of oil, so I'm just going to fry this. And this thing is kind of running out of juice, but... <clears throat> Another Christmas gift I got. <laughs> Just gotta pump it up a little. Okay. Oh no, it's not working at all. Baby's crying in the other room. Probably gonna check that. Okay, Daddy has baby under control. She is just tired. She's had a long day. So, um, I'm just going to get through this meal. <laughs> this is why I take a long time, okay? I just, I have a lot going on. I get distracted and, um, well, you know, it'll be worth it in the end though. Trust me. So I'm going to heat that medium high. About like that. cook these puppies up. Just flash forward here. It's all boring, right? <laughs> so I'm going to show you how daddy got baby to stop crying. This is hilarious. It's amazing. It is pretty amazing. It is cool. Another present. This smells really good. Uh, some of it came off though. I'm not sure why. I did something wrong. Oh well. It's going to taste good just the same. So I'm not even going to worry about it. One last thing that's pretty cool about this is um, it gives wine pairings for each meal. And Chardonnay I love. Um, Falangina is not a grape that most people know about. And I actually just recently found out about it. Um, we have one per sale at Wine Tasting Network at winetasting.com. And um, yeah, that's pretty good. Also, the new Hamilton Chardonnay just came out. It's a 2015 and it was created for... Um, well, I don't want to say it was created for, but it actually ties into a Broadway play. So, that's cool. Um, Hamilton, all the rage, right? I also like this one. It's Maraluna Tough Day Chardonnay. Now, this isn't the newest release, but this is the one I am drinking tonight because um, I just have it. And I like it. It's blurry. Anyway, cheers! So I got through my second recipe and it was pretty good. Um, I accidentally burned my bowl. I had it on the stove and I turned on the the burner, <laughs> the wrong burner. So that sucks. And then I burned my finger and um, I think that was all that happened. So that was that was uh, fortunate. I had to throw my bowl away though and I really liked that bowl. But the food was good. Now I'm on to my third one. But first, I'm going to have a glass of Chardonnay. Now, in choosing a wine glass, you want to make sure that it is large enough for you to smell all of the aromas and get all the flavors out of your wine. It's very important. <sighs> Delicious. Cheers! She kind of looks like a demon child. And her eyes are all glowy. <laughs> She's so sweet. I love her. So that's it. I'm all done with my recipes for the week. I feel really good. We ate incredibly and I'm looking forward to the next batch of recipes I get to learn. Take care. Stay tuned.